queen, 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 queen. Queen, 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 queen. Hey guys, welcome back to Jill Comfort Zone. Jill Comfort Zone. Jill Comfort Zone. Hey. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Jules Comfort Zone. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Pull up a seat and let's get started, all right? And if your heart feels content to do so, click that subscribe button right down there, right down there, and turn it gray. And click the notification bell so you can be reminded of when I am coming to you with more videos. All right, so tonight we are on day four, day four of the five, five day veggie challenge, okay? That was created by my lovely sis, eating with K Cotton, yes, day five, and it is, this is day four, day four, day four, y'all, okay? And it's been a grind, and it's also Happy Friday. Many blessings to all and each and every, 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 every one of you guys. Yes, my word to you today is love your hustle. Love your hustle. Respect the hustle. Love the hustle. Respect the hustle. Grind on the hustle. Invest in your hustle. And may the Lord keep blessing your hustle. Amen. Yes. That is what I want to say. Because this has been a hustle. And I was frustrated, tired, sleepy. Oh my God. Listen. This has been a journey. And regardless of what I'm going through in my personal life. In my personal endeavors. And in everything else that's going on around me. I came to you. To bring you some delicious meals amen and that's what I'm here for and that is why my channel is called Jill's comfort zone okay because no matter what I'm going through that's when I do the best is in the kitchen it has nothing to do with food being comforting to me or overeating or anything like that I love to come in this kitchen and create new things to bring to you guys each and every time I hit this button to record. So I hope you guys been enjoying this journey, doing this five day veggie challenge because I have been enjoying making it for you. Okay, so tonight what we are having is some fried cauliflower veggie wraps. Yes, something light, it's summertime. Keep it simple, and it can still be delicious yet healthy. So, I'm going to meet you back over here on the counter so we can get it started. And it's quick. Quick. All right? I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. So, as you can see, we have all our ingredients that we're going to put in our fried cauliflower. Um, fly, um, cry. <laughs> Excuse me. So you can see we have all the ingredients that we are going to put in our fried cauliflower veggie wraps. Okay. So we're going to start with all the seasonings that we're going to blend together to make our lovely, lovely batter. So we have here, we have some chili powder, coranda powder, turmeric powder, curry powder, uh, cu uh, cumin powder, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, uh, salt, two tastes, I'll say one tablespoon, I mean one teaspoon, and peppercorn medley I'm put using in there. So, and then I don't have in the picture, but we're going to use some um, hot sauce and and we're going to blend these lovely dishes up. So for our batter, we're going to use the cornstarch and the bacon flour that I used, the new one. <laughs> if you've seen my piece of recipe, 
you you probably saying why are you going with this again because it made a nice batter for me for my fried um mushroom chicken mushrooms so that's why i'm using it again so yes as you can see there this is all the ingredients that we're going to be using um what you don't see is i am going to be using some almond milk that is also up here as well so we're also going to be using the uh as you can see i have the italian herb paste the ginger paste in the garlic paste so those are going to get combined as well so we have already our dry ingredients in here seasonings and herbs and stuff and i'm using herb de Provence, um de Provence. so yes and some complete seasoning it's also all in this mixture here so as for our veggies to add inside i am using as you can see, I have some leftover veggies from yesterday. Red, green, red, green, yellow, orange, and uh, peppers. Then I have some red onions. I'm going to put some broccoli in there, some cucumbers in there as well. We have a lovely lettuce here. Red leaf lettuce that we're going to use as wraps. Um, I have my cauliflower here that we're going to um, fry down. I have some cornstarch to mix in with that bacon, um, bacon flour. All right. So these are all the ingredients that we are using. I did not add the salt to the seasoning yet. That is going to go or the pepper yet. So that's going to go in later. So and along with that, I've made, whoop, whoop, excuse me, I made some yellow rice. So we're going to add that as well to our veggie wraps. So let's get into it. I'll be right back. So we're just getting our veggie cooked up a little bit. I added some fresh parsley to this. And see, it's practically almost ready. I'm just getting the rawness off of it. You know, cook it down just a little bit. And, yeah, I put a little bit of Himalayan salt. I put some peppercorn medley on it. And I'm going to sprinkle it with just a little bit of complete seasoning. Okay. And that's it for that. So, guys, we have our two cups. We put two cups. Of the flour in there and now we're going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch all right just two you know how i feel about this baking stuff right <laughs> at least this is not baking guys so we're not baking anything so thank you thank you lord all right, so we're going to mix this together really nicely just to get it blended up. But before I start doing that, well, yes, I want to blend this up so, so that we can get our flour and cornstarch blended up really well. Okay, maybe I should have used a, um, a fork or something, huh? Okay, so let's get this blended up. We added half of our seasoning blends, that cumin and all that good stuff, to the flour mixture. And we're just going to blend this all together really well before we add anything else, okay? Hey guys, I'm back. As you can see, I have our flour back here. Base, it's seasoned and ready to go. I have our cauliflower. Got the seasoning. I'm going to mix that up. Um, let's get our wet mixture together. So we're going to come with, and I didn't mention this at the beginning, sorry. We're going to come with some apple cider vinegar. Okay. 
about one one and a half teaspoon of that I'm just gonna go like that okay about two tablespoons of hot sauce all right yeah you know I love my red hot and this is almond milk all right I know that's more than two <laughs> I know that's more than two tablespoons and we just gonna whisk this up together mm-hmm get it popping all right so we're gonna season our cauliflower has been seasoned right so I should have probably I probably should have had a bigger bowl just to I just did a little bit of seasoning at a time and this is going to give our cauliflower flavor okay and I did <clears throat> finally, sorry, add the salt and pepper to this. All right, so we're going to toss this around, coat in each of this nicely. All right, and we done mixed to uh, whisk together our hot sauce, apple cider vinegar, and almond milk. All right, gonna add this to this. Yeah, yes. All right. Remember our herb paste, ginger paste, and our garlic paste. Let's fold it in. Okay. This is going to be so flavorful. And we're going to fold all this in, mix it, set it to the side. <clears throat> and if you want, you could let this marinate for a day or so. That will really bind up all of these flavors. Oh boy. Yes! I will be back. So here we're going to do our triple dipping. Half an hour. Look how that looks. All those herbs and delicious seasonings and stuff in there. Woo child. Listen. This is about to be good child. Okay. So this is just making sure it's well blended again. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our cauliflower. Dip it in there. I know this is going to get a little messy, y'all. Just a little bit. Dip it in there, right? Shake off. Hey, guys. So our cauliflower has been coated and ready to hit the fryer. I also forgot to tell you that I did not use the breadcrumbs. Um... So this is enough coating for us. I think the flour with the cornstarch is good as enough. So we didn't have to use the panko um, breadcrumbs, okay? And then we're gonna fry these babies up uh, probably about four minutes. And then we'll take them out, sit them on this cooling on this rack and let them drip and cool down for about five minutes and then we will Start assembling our <laughs> fried, fried, sorry, fried um, cauliflower veggie wraps. So stay tuned. I'll be back. We're going to fry these for four minutes, y'all. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back. As you can see, our fried cauliflower is complete so let me try one jazzy you get one too let's see what it's hitting for let's see oh 
Oh, hot! Ooh. Mm. I was about to go, but I would have thought it was chicken. Mmm, crispy, huh? Yeah. Mmm. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. I taste the curry. Look, I'm going in for another one. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're about to get to assembling our our wraps. Let's get into it. All right, guys, let's assemble got my mixed veggies and if you remember the other day oops the other day I had made this is the mixed veggies and yellow rice remember the other day I made mushrooms oh I dropped some it's all good that was all good remember I made mushrooms guys with the asparagus and stuff for our pizza so I had some left over, so I used some of that mixture in here. This is just going to be one big one here. Okay, so, and they're so fragile to the, you know, the letters. You know, they're so tender. And I miss broccoli in there, peppers. All right. This probably, I should have probably did two of this one too, huh? Yes. And so we're gonna put our don't they look good though? Serious. Get one bite. Take a bite. They turned out good. I ain't gonna lie. They're tasty. I could use a little bit more salt, but okay. So that's our wrap. I know Jazzy, I'm going to eat a small wrap because you know. And I'm going to put some cucumbers in there. Little cucumbers, just, just a little bit. You know I can't just leave it just like that. I need sauce. Jazzy ain't going to get no sauce. But I am. I will be right back. Let's get into it. They got the tiger sauce. Just a little bit. Mm hmm Okay. Add a little bit more heat to it. Yeah. Okay. And then. So you could dress these up with any of your likings. You could a uh, guacamole sauce. That's good. Oh, yes. Get into it, y'all. But you could add anything, some tomato, all that good stuff in it. All right, and I'll be right back to give it a taste. Hey, guys. I am back with the fried, crispy cauliflower. Ooh-wee. Got that guacamole sauce. Mm hmm And then you got the... Fried veggies with the fried rice and veggies. Let me curl this up, y'all. Because we got to make sure this right, right? Should have had it together when I came on. But you know what? A plan never comes together in the kitchen sometime. Okay? I'm going to give y'all the first bite. There you go. There you go. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Mm-mm. This ain't a cute meal. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mmm. That tiger sauce. Mmm. Woo! And 
the guacamole, salsa. Guys, please try this dish. It is truly delicious. See? Mmm. Mm. Mm. They're shooting off fireworks over here. <laughs> okay. Juneteenth. Mmm. This is truly delicious. I've seen several fried cauliflower recipes online. And I'm just like, okay. I never did fried cauliflower. So, all I did was incorporate my own little stuff to make the little batter. Well, marinade, and remember, marinate for up to an hour, and make sure you use big pieces, because the marinade will start breaking down the cauliflower. And I did wash my cauliflower, okay? Please wash your cauliflower. Wash all your veggies. Clean all your meats. Clean all your greens. Clean all your fruits. Yes. With that being said, I'm about to make me another wrap. Finish this one up. Make me another one. Y'all have a wonderful night. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed. Five day veggie challenge. Day number four. Created by Eating With K Cotton. And if you want to join this challenge, just to remember to tag her. Hashtag five day veggie challenge. Eating With K Cotton. All right. And happy Friday. Have a blessed day. All right. So, I'm sorry for the word, but I did give you a word. Okay. Watch from the beginning. <laughs> well, you guys have a great night. Thank you for coming, everybody, and each and every one of you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and come join the family. All we want to do is love on you as you love on me. And don't forget to thumbs it up. Hit that like button. And share me out to your family and friends. Show them what we're doing over here at Jill's Comfort Zone. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you think about this recipe. And what else you would like to see Jill cook at Jill's Comfort Zone. I have a couple of requests. They are coming. All of you who ask me to make dishes, they're coming. It's just that I have other things lined up already. So... Thank you so much. Don't forget to get the, hit that notification bell so you can be reminded of when I am coming to you with another video. So with that being said, as I always say, I love you. Stay blessed and peace out. Till next time, see you on day five. Veggie Challenge. Keep watching all videos.